What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Kari, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Now, today is going to be a very rare video because I'm talking about Adidas, and I'm talking about something that Adidas did better than Nike. So, grab your popcorn because this is going to be an interesting one, but I got a really dope shoe to show you guys. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Today, we're talking about 4D technology, and we're talking about this amazing new technology that Adidas is using in conjunction with a company named Carbon. So, starting off with the box, I'll be honest with you, this is one of the more dope boxes that I've seen in quite some time. Plain black box, but it's actually a drawer style box where you see this Adidas logo and the shoe actually is right above this little flap here. Now, of course, I've taken the shoe out so that you can see the proper intro and here it is. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Adidas Alpha Edge 4D. Now the Alpha Edge in white is the latest colorway of this new iteration of this amazing 4D technology that I talked about a little bit earlier. If you're not familiar with 4D, let me explain what makes it so unique and so revolutionary. So basically, this entire midsole here is made up out of a resin. If you're not familiar with what resin is, it's basically a thick liquid that before it dries and cools, you can actually manipulate it and stretch it in different directions to make it tighter or a little more loose. So if you notice, each one of these little strands here is actually an individual strand of resin that was woven together and it was solidified using what's called digital light synthesis which is actually applying a special light onto the resin to bond all of these strands together. This is some really high tech stuff. Now the point of using this new 4D technology first of all is because it's a really amazing and fast way to come up with the most customizable midsole for any athlete's foot. So the way that this actually came about was years and years in the making because Carbon actually teamed up with Adidas and got a bunch of runners together to basically do a lot of workouts, do a lot of running, jumping, things of that nature because they wanted to analyze exactly where the athlete's foot was hitting the ground. That actually showed Adidas and Carbon where the athlete would need more maneuverability and in what part of their foot they would need a little bit more support and a little bit more bounce back and reaction. That allowed them to contour this new midsole technology whereas it's looser in some areas where you need more flexibility and it's tighter in some areas where you need a little more bounce. Now the really dope thing about this is that this actually is a technology that if they utilize it correctly could really be revolutionary in the future. And what I mean by revolutionary is that Adidas's long-term play with this 4D technology is to not only make it accessible but fast. Now what do I mean by fast? What I mean by fast is that in the future Adidas wants to come up with a process that's so efficient that they're actually able to crank out a whole lot of these sneakers in mass quantities in a very short amount of time. Think walking into an Adidas store and they actually have a 4D station where you can do a little bit of manipulation, a little bit of running and jumping. They can measure your foot data and create your own specialized 4D shoe in a matter of minutes. Very, very revolutionary stuff. Now, when the 4D technology was first created, it actually came out on a shoe called the Future Craft. Those of you guys who have the Future Craft, congratulations because that shoe was extremely limited and it was extremely expensive on the resale market. Now, since then, Adidas has come out with new iterations using this 4D technology, including the Alpha Edge in a gray and black colorway and in this newest colorway, which is all white with a little bit of gray. On the heel of the lateral side of the shoe, you have this really nice metallic silver Adidas logo here. What I like a lot about the logo is that it's like 3D. Moving up from there on the tongue of the shoe, you have that nice futuristic three stripes logo that's actually 3M. On the heel of the shoe, you have a really nice 3M strip that goes all the way down to the midsole of the shoe. Now this outsole on this shoe is actually closed up. I believe that's because they don't want anything to interfere with the midsole of the shoe. Normally it would be open for breathability on the bottom of the shoe, but I believe they don't want anything to get caught up in that 4D material because it could be a bit fragile. Finally, you have that nice 4D logo right there on the heel of the insole. Now the title of this video, of course, is Adidas did something better than Nike. What did Adidas do that is better than Nike? Adidas created a new technology technology that was very innovative and pretty expensive and they actually found a way to make it more affordable and to mass produce it. Which is something that Nike hasn't really learned how to do yet when it comes to mastering their new technologies. What I'm talking about here is the Hyper Adapt. Now, Nike took a new technology that really is supposed to take us to new levels as far as fit and as far as maneuverability in your shoes with the self-lacing system and all of the gadgets and gadgets that's involved with that. But unfortunately, Nike has not come down off that price point yet by being able to either mass produce this shoe or make the technology more efficient and cheaper to produce. As a matter of fact, I believe it was Tinker Hatfield that mentioned that he actually did not like the price of the shoe, the fact that it was still $700, even though they had come out with multiple iterations of the Hyper Adapt. 
Now, they called the HyperAdapt 1.0, However, a couple years later, we're still waiting on the HyperAdapt 2.0 to come out, and I don't know if we're gonna get it anytime soon because the lead engineer of that project, Tiffany Beers, has since left Nike for Tesla. So, good luck getting that HyperAdapt 2.0. In the meantime, Adidas might really have something from this, which honestly is a boon for them because they've been needing a win based on the fact that they've been having a pretty rough year compared to the behemoth Nike knocking them in the head so many times with all the different sneaker releases that they've been coming out with. But for what it's worth, I really like this colorway, really like the shoe, it's super comfortable, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else they do with this 4D technology. But enough of me talking, as usual, I wanna know what you guys think. So sound off down in the comments and let me know, were you able to pick up a pair of the Alpha Edge 4D? Did you get the white colorway or do you guys have that gray and black colorway? I personally am not a fan of the gray and black colorway. I think it looks a little eh, but you might be a fan of it. So let me know. Personally, I don't think this is a shoe that's gonna put them back on top, but I do think this is something that can help sustain them and keep them afloat. Again, if you're not subscribed, I don't know why you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button right down there. We would love to have you become a part of the Sneaker Fetish family because I guarantee you, you don't wanna miss any more heat like this because I got a lot more on the way. As always, I wanna thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish, taking a look at these with me for a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Adidas Alpha Edge 4D in white. And until next time, I'm out.